YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss tool engineering and in the tool engineering we have the chapter of clamping and locating devices. Okay. In this uh, today's video we are going to see various clamping devices. Okay. And what is the use of the clamping individual devices in the uh, jig section. The clamping is necessary to hold the workpiece in firm place. By the clamping, we should be able to restrict the movement of the jaw. And the clamping should be such that it will uh, resist the cutting force also. So now in today's lecture, we are going to see various clamping devices. Okay. Now uh, if I have to categorize it, the first clamping the device is clamping screw. It is very uh, conveniently just a screw is there where we need to uh, rotate the screw to make it clamp. The second type is hook bolt clamp. Now for the hook bolt clamp, uh, you can understand from the name itself, there are hooks are provided. This is very simple clamping device and is only suitable for light work and where usual type of clamp is inconvenient. This is the clamp in real use in the industry. Just by rotating the clamping bolt, we can easily remove the workpiece from that bench. Another example here we, we are using Allen key and removing that component from the fixture. Uh, this is the hook type clamp. The workpiece is clamped based on the hooks. Okay, so these hooks are there. So we can clamp this workpiece firmly on this plate. Okay, so this is again the simplest form. There are only uh, smaller workpieces are clamped on this uh, clamping devices. Okay, uh -huh. where we have the product of uh, smaller insects. Next type is uh, again categorized into the lever type clamp. So uh, under the lever type clamp, we have a bridge type clamp. This is bridge type clamp. It is very simple and reliable clamping devices. The clamping force is applied by spring loaded nut as shown in this figure. The relative position of the nut, the point of contact of the clamp with the work and with the outer support should be carefully considered. Since the compressive force of the nut is shared between workpiece and clamp support inversely as the ratio of their distances from the nut. Figure B shows a slotted strap. To avoid the complete removal of the nut, every time a workpiece is changed, the clamp may be slotted to draw it back. A two-way clamping can be obtained by the bridge clamp as shown in this figure. Next is a, a heel type clamp. For the heel type clamp, these are the two types. This consists of a robust plate or strap, center stud and heel. The strap should be strengthened at a point where the hole for the stud is cut out. By increasing the thickness around the hole as shown in the design A, differs from the simple bridge clamp as shown in previous uh, two-way clamp. This is another version of the heel clamp where workpiece is loaded into the jig or fixture or removed from these by rotating the clamp. In this design, the clamp is guided by loose heel which is driven into jig or fixture body. A short stem is turned on the end of the heel which fits loosely into a keyway in the clamp strap. The loading and unloading of the workpiece is obtained by reciprocating the clamp by hand. This design is shown in figure D. It is similar to the figure C but here the stem is provided at the end of heel which forms the part of jig or fixture body casting. Next clamp is swinging strap clamp also known as latch clamp. This is the real application of the strap clamp in the industry where serration and blocks are used to tighten the strap clamp on the workpiece. In this video you can see the nut is being tightened by the spanner to lock the strap clamp and to lock the workpiece on the machine table itself. So with the use of spanner we can lock the strap clamp. This is a special type of clamp which provides a means of entry for loading and unloading of the workpiece. For this strap, latch or lead can be swung out or in. These two designs shows the swinging latch clamps. Next type is hinge clamp. This clamp is similar to the swinging latch clamp in which the latch is hinged to enable the workpiece to be loaded and unloaded. The clamp can be made integral with the latch as shown in this A figure. 
a hinge clamp which is locked by means of bolt as shown in this B figure. It shows a hinge clamp provided with a hook cam. This clamp is much quicker than the bolt type and is suitable for work pieces which maintain a dimensional accuracy. The hook end of the operator lever acts as a cam and engages a pin. This figure shows some other designs of the lead or straps which may be used for swinging latch or hinge clamps. Next type is quick acting clamps. Now under the quick acting clamp we have C clamp. This figure shows two types of C clamp. Figure A represents free and figure B represents captive C clamp. To unload the workpiece, the locking nut is unscrewed by giving it about one turn and this releases the C clamp. When the clamp is removed, or the workpiece can freely pass over the nut. The reverse procedure is adopted for loading the workpiece. The free C clamp may be fastened to jig or fixture body to prevent it from being lost. Then next is the quick acting nut. This is quick acting nut. The threads of the nut are not continuous but are interrupted. The length of the nut is about 2 to 3 times the thread diameter. The diameter of the clearance capital D is slightly bigger than the outside diameter of the thread and the axis of the hole is inclined at an angle of 3 to 7 degree to the axis of the nut. The use of the quick acting nut is explained in this figure. When the nut is assembled over the male thread, it is inclined to the axis of the clearance hole. When the nut engages the male thread, it is dropped onto the screw thread and is then tightened, locked by giving it about half a turn. Next type of clamp is cam operated clamp. These clamps find broad application and are fast and positive in action. These should not be used where vibrations are present or where dimension of the workpiece vary. For example, in the sand casting. Cam clamps are quick and very effective, also simple in operating. They are based on the principle of inclined plane. This animation shows simple cam operated clamp. This is the exploded view of the cam operated clamp. You can see each part in detail with the strap, lever and the workpiece. So in this today's lecture, we have learned various clamping devices. It's used from its basic figure towards the application level also. We also discussed the uh, in-depth uh, construction of the each clamp and how that clamp works. Okay. So in the next lecture, we will be going to see the design principle behind this clamp. Now the understanding of the clamp is very important to have the uh, correct design of jigs and fixtures. Unless and until you know the locating and clamping devices, you cannot design the jigs and fiction. So understanding of the clamping devices as well as the locating devices is important. That's we can uh, design the jigs and fiction. Okay, so uh, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.